Hey guys, before you get too invested into the video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for us. We appreciate all the support that you guys give us. So go ahead, please, 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 please like, share, and subscribe our content. So that way you won't miss another episode of Unfiltered Arguments and your friends won't miss another episode. Thank you and y'all be blessed. Peace. going on with you everybody welcome to another episode of unfiltered arguments we only have one person on today so go <laughs> ahead introduce yourself Dave. i'm gonna hold it down though it's your boy Derek here man hey of course yeah ford and all ran they had some things we had to attend to and you know we promised you guys some content every thursday so we're not gonna leave y'all hanging all right so on today's episode Derek. so Prior to this episode, I already gave them a little bit of what they're going to know or what they know about it. Basically, is what would you do if your girl proposed to you? But that's too simple. We can't just we can't just leave it at that. We got to expand on it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the scenario, and I'm going to ask you, what would you do in the scenario? I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, after you tell me your answer, I'm going to tell you mine. All right, so, you act, so it's like your birthday. Remember that joint that you had that video? Uh, of um the of old girl giving dude the paper oh, the, when he the won the property. Rally. The rental yeah. property. Yeah. All right, so you at your birthday like that, bro. It's all of us around. It's your girl. Y'all been together for a long time. She like like we see her. We we know it's you. When we see you, we know it's her. Blah blah blah. X Y Z. And in front of your boys, in front of your fam, like all of us is there. Your mom, everybody. In front of us, your girl gets on one knee. And ask you to marry her. And you got a choice. And, and this ain't no like you can go behind closed doors and change it up afterwards. No. You either you're gonna say yes right there or you're gonna say no. And there's no there's no getting out of it, Durant Jr. There's no getting <laughs> look, out of it. You, look, you have look when I you see, first, I see when the wheels turn. When, when you first proposed this, I was like, oh, this is all. she ain't gonna even get the yeah. chance to ask me. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She gonna do it. She gonna do it, and you don't know what's coming. Oh, but you don't have no choice. You gotta say yes. I'm my, this show day one. This is your. This is the one that's been holding you down. She don't put money into into everything that you want to accomplish, and you know they're the same for her. You are gonna say, and you got a choice. You gonna reject it right there in front of your in front of all of us. But mind you, she don't got. She got her friends there. We're gonna pull our phones out because I'm in, I'm recording. I'm, I'm that friend. I'm I'm yeah. We recording. Damn, fucked up my so whole it's like answer. yes, <laughs> yes. No, bro. We in public. All of your friends and all your peers. Everybody is there. We're recording it. She got a couple of her friends there because she told them, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. We're supposed to dance tonight. I know he ain't gonna say no. What you doing, bro? <laughs> you gonna say no?" <laughs> say you'll say no. I didn't say that. Oh, 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 nah, bro. You will say no. Say, I didn't say that. Oh, I didn't shit. say that. Stop putting words shit. in my mouth. Bro, you will uh, say no. I can't, like, accidentally trip up and tackle her before she acts. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was like, that was like. Bro, bro. Yeah. No, first of all, first of all, explain to me what accidentally tripping her is explain that to me no i i'm i accidentally trip and i tackle her oh in the process okay. so you so you're gonna trip <laughs> and then you're just gonna be like oh oh nah. shit oh shit what you nah, good i'm gonna pick up i'm gonna say i'm gonna say what makes it worse time. you sitting down while she proposed it <laughs> you so said i can't even see like yeah she just gets up and she gets on that one knee right there beside you while you sitting down and everything Dang. And I got to answer, huh? You, you got to answer yes or no. You will have no choice in the matter, dog. You have no choice. Damn. You got to choose. You got to choose. I, I got two answers. No, bro, you got one answer. Look, 
it's, I got to, listen, listen. In that moment, ah, uh, shit. No, there's In no that like moment, there's no going. No, there's no going behind closed doors <laughs> and talking about it. Or oh, nothing, bro. you dirty! There's nothing, like, once you say yes, it's final. Like that's get it. out my but, head, bro. Get out my nah. head. <laughs> <laughs> we just had this conversation. Get we think too much head. alike, dog. Let oh, me tell you, no, bro. There's damn. no, there's no going behind closed doors and having conversation Damn. there's no rejecting because once you reject her bro she's done she's leaving she's gone like she don't want no more because you don't publicly embarrass her and i already don't post the video on snapchat twitter <laughs> that bitch live. i've already been there. that bitch live it's on, on facebook I don't log to the, bro i've already logged to the unfiltered brothers podcast and i'm already putting it on there like Damn. i'm already i'm on everything i brought two phones that's that fake of you though oh i know <laughs> <laughs> that's fake of you Oh, oh no. yeah, Damn. bro. You have no choice in the matter. Like, there's like this is the final. Yeah, once That's you make a decision, you will say no. Oh, are you sick? Do You're the answer? Sick. Do the answer gotta be yes or no? Or can I talk? No, there's no <laughs> talking, bro. It's yes or no. You have a choice Damn. right now, bro. And you you either gonna say yes or you're gonna say no. No in between. I and if you say no, she's leaving. Dude, can I put my feelings in this? Like, it you, depends you can, on, like... You can explain anything you want to, Dad. It's your time. <laughs> oh, bro. And we ain't got rid of forts. You got a lot damn, of time. I guess, like, man... Uh, yeah, see? Uh, yeah, when I, when I put that bitch in the answer. chat... You fucked up yeah, my answer, that, When I put it in the chat, you was over there like, yeah, this is a simple one. Joe ain't think too much on this one. Oh, I was plotting on y'all, boy. Yeah, I had this... <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends like where I'm at at, at the, in that moment. Like, all right, all right, like, I'll give you that. Life wise, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, well, I mean, one, I don't want, I want to be the one to do that. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. it's like, but she said you took too long. That's, see, and that's where I, ha I had all that day or two. Like, yeah, she said you took too long. She said, she said, she knows it's you. And mind you, y'all at a point now where y'all good. I like, just was, you good. This was going to be my, like, original. Uh, oh, yeah. My uh -huh. original answer, right? I'm going to uh -huh. answer yours, but this was going to be my original, right? Oh, what's your, what's your my, answer? My original? Because what you just... You you gave us the question. You said, would you let your girl propose to y'all in front of your boys? So you didn't elaborate on that. So I was like, no, because I uh -huh. want to do that. You know what I'm saying? I like, you. but I can't, I'm not against it, but that's not for me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, no, I got you. And, and let's be real, it's like niggas know like who they want to be with and like who they want to marry, even though we get a lot that's of true. shit for it. We know, like, when we find that one, we know. But most okay. of the time, the men are not as ready or, you know, they're not ready as quickly as the women are. Oh, yeah, most so, definitely. So you have situations like this where she go talking to her friends. Man, he, I want to get married. He ain't, he taking, <laughs> he taking all along. What should I do? And hit her friends, her single friends, and that girl, you should go ahead and do it. <laughs> you should go ahead and uh, propose to him anyway. And then that, that her ass go behind me while I'm sitting there in the chair on one knee talking about, <laughs> talking about, will you marry me? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I feel like, I feel like when girls propose, that's the case. It's like, it's like the guy wants to be with her with her but he's not ready mm -hmm. and she has a timeline for all this shit if it's not on her timeline then fuck it so it's yeah. like it's like she's she's forcing you to make a decision like you fucking forcing me to make Ooh, a fucking decision right that's now deep. you know what i'm saying oh, it's I'm, like i most definitely am and it, you know it's like uh it's like that's where shit go wrong <laughs> Cause you can lie, you can lie right then and there to not embarrass her, or you can tell the truth and it still be more embarrassing than you lying. 
You know what I'm saying? We see we see it all the That's time. True. We see it all the time when niggas propose in the middle of the mall. She she say no and run and away. Walk off? And then you just sitting there. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't fuck <laughs> up. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you got the stale face on you, like ah. ah so back to you your question. Man. So back nah, to you question. good. You good. Ah, because you're right. Ah, damn. I'm going to say. If if she All do right, look, if she do right propose now. to me and I'm in the we're good we got a good relationship I feel like we can take that next step I'm going to say yes but I'm going to have a conversation and say why the fuck did you do this <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck did you do this you know what I'm saying like that shit ain't cool you know what I'm saying but if since you're forcing me to answer the question in that moment <laughs> in that moment if i'm good in life and i feel like i'm ready to take that next step yes i would say yes hey, i would, I would be pissed something. i would be fucking pissed behind closed doors i'm gonna tell you something so i'm gonna give you a little backstory with the question so i was having a conversation i trying to propose to you and we wasn't there let me tell you something. She was supposed to be before I flashed that race. Matter of fact, that's my answer. Like, not just, not even trying to be funny. Like, if we in a position, like, like the same thing you said, like, we're good. I know that she's the one, and I'm dragging my feet, and she decides to propose. I'll take it. But I'm going to tell you why, though. I'm going to tell you why. Because originally, when I was having the conversation, I was I was exactly on your mindset. I was like, man, fuck that shit. That's embarrassing. And then, you know, they was like, that's the male ego talking. It was one of my bros at that. It was one of my bros he was talking to. He was like, that's the male ego talking. And I'm looking at him like, male ego? What are you talking about? Like, that's... Because I because I, I was more from the fact of, like, you took that moment from me. Like, I've been building for this one moment. Like, our entire relationship. This is a moment for me. I want to do this for us. Like, this is my moment of saying, I want you forever. Mm-hmm. And my homeboy was like, well, why can't she do that? Because he, cause he played devil's advocate just like I do. She was like, well, why can't, why can't you, um, why can't we do, like, she do that for you? And she got all those feelings that you got, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, dang. So he was like, so he was like, the same way you feel rejection, you think that she's not going to feel rejection? And he's like, the only reason that you're saying no is because you're embarrassed? I was like, I, I don't, I, had, I don't want her to block the nigga. I was like, why are you talking to me right now, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so we, <laughs> but um, not like, for real, for real, after thinking about it, and you know, I proposed and stuff like that. And I had to quite like this was this won't like the list I was telling you about. Like it was on yeah. the list. And I just moved it up because I was like, you know, that's a good question. Like, you know, two of our bros are in those kind of situations, you know, now and stuff like that. Like their relations have gone to that next level. Yep. And it's like, damn, like I I almost would low-key kind of feel I would feel embarrassed, but that's the male ego talking, but I would feel honored. That you would choose me, like, like, like most of the time, cause, cause, bro, it's most of the time it's us having to choose a woman. Like, we have to go out. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I want to say, I get that. I get that. I definitely get that. But I feel like when what, what I'm about to say, you understand too, cause you're you're a male, you're a man. It's like you, well, you know, you're in a relationship. This is what I felt when I was in, you know, past relationships. Well. Mm-hmm. The ones that I do, you know, claim. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, you're fool. <laughs> the ones that <laughs> I talk about this on the podcast. <laughs> um, it's like you know, like when you with that, you you with that, uh, you with Shonda. You know, I guess you you know how she show affection or whatever. Yeah. Do you? Does she show it a lot? Yeah. I mean, Wait, okay, in, in, in her in her way, I guess. Because people yeah. show affection, oh, yeah, 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 people yeah, show yeah, affection yeah. in different ways. So we already got it in our mind. Like women, women do show men more. I can I can say this. I can admit that. Women oh, do yeah. show men more affection than we mm-hmm. show women. And they already, when you with that woman, you already have a sense and you, you already know. She already either told you or showed you that you are the only one she want to be with. Mm-hmm. But I'm not saying it's like this a lot of times, but she want to see that that. 
she want to know that you want to be with her for the rest mm-hmm. of your life as well. So I feel like that is why that's our moment for us mm-hmm. to propose that. Because we already know, we already know yeah. that she wants to get most females out here wants to get married. It's rare that you see a female that don't want to get married. And if she's right. with you, she with you, yeah, most likely y'all already had, you know, previous conversations. So you know it's her on mind that she wants to be married to you one day. But you have to show that you got you have to show that show that back. You gotta show that affection, mm-hmm. that love back. So that's why I feel like it's that's our moment. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you kind of took it. I don't know. You, it's like you kind of took it from us, even though I feel the same way about you. But it's like I don't know. It's like kind of you testing me. Ooh, on big, okay. On a bigger setting, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Uh, yeah, that's why I, I would say I would agree with you 100. percent But I also say like, but, okay, this is what I'm thinking. And this is why I say, like, originally I know no to it because I feel like, like you say, you tested me. I feel like you put me, like, you give me an ultimatum. And I, and you know what the thing about it is, is that that's why I feel like communication is important in a relationship. And um, because of the fact that, like, you don't know where I am into. Like, you don't know what my idea of a marriage is if we don't talk about it. Now, we can talk about it, you know, I, like it's some couples that they like, all right, we, we've been in the mud together. You know, like we've been married since we were poor. We came up together, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. Like I've been through, I've seen you through your struggles. Like, like that's, that's cool. Like, you know, some, some people have those relationships. Like I'm more of the type of like, no, nah, like f- my financial situation dictates how my mind is regarding my relationship. And I know people be like, that's not like, you shouldn't think like that, but it's true. But like, when, when you're talking about marriage, that's what you got to think about. But that's, and pe- and, and people, and that's exactly. No, go ahead. No, I was saying like, that's what kind of like what I, <clears throat> like, I kind of hate the question when it comes to like, like you want to be with her, like you want to be with her for the rest of your life. Y'all been together this long. Why are you waiting? Because marriage, it's a, it's a con, in a sense, it's a contract. It's, it's, it's more than a contract, but it's still a contract. You you it's both sign deal, you both bro. sign that paper. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and it's it's a lot that goes into it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not all about love. Yes, I love this person. Yes, I want to mm-hmm. be with them. But when you talk about marriage, and then potentially that shit don't work out, no matter how long you you could be <laughs> you could be together for thirty years. You see Bill Gates out here. <laughs> I read an article on him today talking about stuff. He's Gates, with the people at the work. I'm like, hey, Bill. Hey, allegedly, Bill got hoes out here, but hey, that's, look, that's, man, you Bill fucking Gates, you better have hoes out here, that's bro. A, that's allegedly. Nigga, every time we think of Microsoft, we think of you, nigga. That's it. You say that to a woman every time as a pickup line. I'm Microsoft, but no, but no, don't say that. Don't, don't, don't actually, don't say that. That's they that they won't like you being Microsoft. Like, don't, don't say that. <laughs> but like, but like, say that you the creator of Windows or something like that. That's but not, but, but, uh, but not the the reason I say yes to it after the fact is because like you know it was all those other things pointed out to me. But no, I, I feel some type of way about it too, and, uh, as a whole about marriage as well because that question, like you said, it's, to me it's annoying because I think that we all. First of all, I think that everybody decides that we're going to put everybody in this one group, like this one category, and we're going to dictate everything based off this one group. So, all right, this couple got married in their early 20s. They've been together, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's cool. But then that couple in their early 20s got divorced. And then that couple over there didn't even get married, but they still together. And I think that you you can't, you got to live your life for you. Like, you can't decide, you can't let somebody else decide when you ready to get married, because it's a, like you said, it's a commitment. That's a commitment that I don't like, like having a kid. Those are things that are lifetime commitments that you dead ass can't just wake up and decide like, oh, I'm going to do it. It takes time preparation. Like if I get married to, you know, Shauna the day or tomorrow and something happened to me, then she's responsible. Like everything falls back on her. So how's she going to take care of me in the position that she's in? How am I going to take care of her in the position that I'm in? 
Right. Now we're going to, let's say we got a kid and something happens to me, then what? You know what I'm right. saying? Like, and, and that's where the, that's where the beauty of marriage comes into play though, because you got the notion of, you know, life insurance and something happens to me and, you know, they're covered. But then you talk about years and years of preparation with that. You got to find the right job and everything. And, and just, it's an example that I want to, want to talk about just how a lot that goes into marriage. Like you really, you really have to be up on financial literacy. You definitely have yeah. to know about financial management, right? Uh, I mm-hmm. was attending. I was attending a, a conference. Um, which one was this? It was a couple of months ago, and uh, the lady was on there talking. Her husband had passed away. Uh, mm. I think it's two years now. And these people, these people are millionaires. I, I, I would like to mention, right? But you know how you you get in marriage, and you you, you said this a lot too. Is you said when you get in marriage, is it doesn't just become you you know i say it's mm-hmm. two and one right so you know you y'all signing these papers um you know just be cautious like when you when both of your name is on on things because you just because, liable because because <laughs> cause he passed away and you know and she was you know trying to you know pay for all their expenses and everything like that but it was she couldn't even get the money out of their account or whatever because both of their names was, oh. was on the account and she can't do anything without their his decision too so now it's like, a whole now a whole process of you know getting that That's money wild. getting that money out their account and you know transitioning it over and everything like that you know and when i heard that i was just like yo that's that's wild you know what i'm saying and yeah. that's why it's like you gotta know what the fuck you getting into when you when you talk about marriage, man. It's that's not a mm-hmm. light thing to t- like. I understand everybody want to be married, everybody want to live that that fantasy, man. But it's it's a lot. It's not bro, just, and it's not it's just not just relationship, bro. Bro, but not even just financially. It's a lot being with that person, bro. Through sickness and health, that means all through, of that. I gotta take care of you, bro. I gotta take care of you all the time. I, I'll be tired. I'm gonna be taking. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking, but now nah, for real, like. I'm a firm believer that you should move in with your significant other before marriage so you can have that idea of how they live in their own space before you move in with them. Mm-hmm. And and the reason I say that, bro, is because like, like, I move in and then she finds out that I'm like this slob, like, oh, I'm just disgusting, like plates of food and I'm never like doing my end and blah, 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 mind you, I, I do. Right. But, but like, that's the person I am. All right, that's one problem. All right, that's one issue that, that has to be addressed. All right, let's say my problem is is that she can't do nothing for herself. That's that's like one of my biggest pet peeves is like you can't do nothing for yourself because it's, it's different from it's different from staying over. When you stay over, yo, when it's when you staying over, it's like you kind of like you want to make it perfect. You want the house clean. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. you want to cater to that that person and everything like that. But when that person is gone, you back in your own environment. You live it how you want to live. So when you exactly. when you finally live together, it's like, dang, I didn't know you had these habits. Like you ain't, <laughs> it wasn't like that when I was just like, I ain't you know, never seen over. this. Like, you know, like simple shit like, bro, like for real, like simple shit like putting the toilet seat down. Like shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and you know, I, have a, I, got, I got a real bad tendency. I don't wash dishes. I don't wash dishes. But in my head, I don't use that many dishes. So I don't wash them. So you know, it's it's we both cleaning up and everything like that, and I I I'm thinking I'm doing my part. She's like, why you even wash these dishes? I I go, bro, they're not my fucking dishes. Why you keep leaving dishes in the sink? You know, argument. I think, and with that being said, does that mean that a relationship? Because I think people like hear me say this, they be like, oh, you're so pessimistic. No, I'm being real. It's the same thing with kids. I don't want kids right now. Kids take up too much time, too much of your space, like. I don't, and I'm really, I, to be real with you, it's to the point where, like, I get baby fever because we got that age now. I be like, oh, I think I have a little me. But then I sit back and I be like, bro, like, them little, they are annoying. Kids are annoying. I'm like, bro, you you crying at this time of the night? Go to sleep. Like, like simple shit like that. And I, and I but they're a blessing. It's something, like, you know, it's, but I, I, I feel like I'm not ready to give that part of my life up just yet. Right. You know? If, if, if you know if my girl get pregnant today or tomorrow, we'll do what we gotta do. I'm pretty sure my mindset will change. 
But if it's up to me, nah. If it's up to me, I'll put the little motherfucking things in the fucking freezer and get that snip snip done. And that's <laughs> that's why we have this question there, because if it was up to us, shit would take longer. Because I think we think, I don't know, man. Men it's, think it's, more it's, financially. Yeah. And I, and, and, I, and, I, and I was told this by, you know, like a, a male figure, like a, this dude I looked up to, man. He was like, men think, we don't think on the terms of love all the time. Like you, some men do. Like she said, some men, that's all they think about. But then some, most men think logically and financially on everything because that's how society dictates a man's worth. Mm-hmm. If you're not, if you're not working a good job, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not driving a decent car, then all of a sudden you look down as a man. Like all of a sudden those qualities of you, you know, he said even to the simple notion of you being able to fix stuff around the house. If you've never used tools before, you never had to use tools, then how would you know how to utilize? Yeah. But now your value of a man has gone down because of the fact that you can't use a tool. Yep. But he said, if you've never had to use one, why would you? Look, why would you use one? And that's <laughs> and that's when and that's when y'all grow old. And she and we when when the company come over, she be like, you know, he he ain't worth shit. He ain't, <laughs> he ain't worth shit. Can't get she nothing. Can't know. get nothing done around the house. Can't fix I'll shit. Like, I, I, I can see myself now in a rocking chair. And be like, the bills pay. Yeah, exactly. The lights on. <laughs> But you know, it's a, uh, and I think you gotta find somebody for you. I think we we go out yeah. here, we find, we find the person that we think everybody else will like. If you think like people be picking people like, oh, she cute, you know, she do this, she do that. But is that the person for you? Right. Like, is that is that the person that's gonna take your flaws and accept them? That's the question. But not only but, not, not only with marriage is you you also gotta consider like. Is this because I've I've heard this before too, and it made so much sense. It's like, is this the person that you want to have kids with? Yo, you know saying that you know what I'm saying, what traits do they possess that you know it's like that they, they it's good traits that they can pass down to your mm-hmm. kids? Like you gotta look yeah, at all of that. Want, but but that's why that's why stupid person is the That's why I get so mad. That's why I get so mad out here when I see, of course. You can't, you can't control everything. But that's why I just get so mad when I see like, you know, couples all together, especially around here, couples all together. Well, our generation, I should say, couples all together. They have the the the, the woman get the one man girl. You know, you can't tell these days. You get pregnant, and then all of a sudden they split. You know what I'm saying? It's like I hate that. Like. Maybe y'all can't y'all can be good co-parents, but I hate that for the kid. I want I want that kid to be able to grow up with both of their parents in the house, not going to different houses and everything like that. You know what's crazy yeah. is that that level of stability coming from someone that didn't have it. It's something that I want to give my child, if that makes sense. Exactly. Like, like you don't like don't pick up the phone and call me if you got a problem. Come to come to the, the man because I'm gonna have a man cave. I've already established it. it's, it's gonna be one. I but I have a but I have a two bedroom apartment or oh, I got a mansion. I'm gonna have a man <laughs> cave in that joint. It just depending on what the size of man cave will be. But um not nah, like it's uh it's to the notion of I want my I want my child to have accessibility to me. I want the, I want I don't really care about being a superhero or nothing to my kid. I just want to be the best dad that I can be to them. Like, you know, when they in trouble, they call me. And you know, I know it's gonna be times I'm gonna be mad at them, but it's like, you know, it's it's things that I, I want to do because of the fact that I didn't have them. Like, I mean, I had my mom and I had my grandma, and that's great. But if like if there were times I needed to call my dad and, I, and he wouldn't, he couldn't get to me. And I, and I don't, and I want to give my kids stability. They may grow up spoiled and unappreciative because, you know, kids typically don't know what you went through because they didn't experience it themselves because you're trying to give them a better life. But that's the point. Like, right. I want you to, I want you to experience this because then you'll do better for your kids. Like, you may see me and your mom fuss about something and then you, and then I sit you down. I'm like, look, this is not how you're supposed to talk to the woman that you love. This is, you know, and he take that into his marriage. 
Now he finds a stable, you know, he has a really good relationship. He does this, this, and this, and then he takes, he teaches his kid that. Then that gets passed on, et cetera, et cetera. Because I think we, got, I said the norm now is 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 co-parenting. Yeah. Like, like we used to, we the the norm back in the day was if you got that girl pregnant, you married that girl. I want to know if and buts about it. 19, 18, 17, you better go ahead and marry that girl. Yeah. But then I think that like somewhere along the line we ended up getting to a point where women's independence allowed them to be like, okay, I don't need a man, which is cool. You're right. You don't. But at the end of the day, you you still need, if you got a kid, you, he still needs that male role model. And there's nothing wrong with you being independent, but then find somebody that accepts and utilizes your independence for better, if that makes sense. Like, right. I feel like the perfect partner would be someone that notices these qualities and builds upon those qualities. Like, all right, I, I, like she one, of, one of his lo- one of his love language is not quality time. Yeah, because if, yeah. if you're independent, uh, well, a person, I should say, a lot of your times is spent with your endeavors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, get in, get into, yeah. get into that bag. So if, if that, he's understanding if, of that, yeah, he like, you know, he's yeah. he's like, okay, that's just my girl. Like that's what she does. Blah blah blah. That's that's all, but you, but then if you know that about yourself, don't get somebody that's clingy. That's what I don't get. Don't get somebody that's clingy and annoying you. Yeah, like you know, it's it's a difference between, and there's a difference between like you said that. That's what and, I, I, I before, okay. you, before you say that. That's kind of why I hate when um. That's why I hate like kind of like failed relationships because mm. it's like it's like. You you knew what you was getting into, like the only, oh. reason, only reason why you made it official because that person showed you <laughs> pretty much. I ain't gonna say everything because you still gotta kind of build that trust more. I should mm-hmm. say when you actually make it official, but you you saw shit in him that you you thought was attractive, and then once y'all got actually got in a relationship, and he was doing those, you then you looking like uh, maybe that is not for me. You like know. you ain't see those red flags in the beginning. <laughs> like that's my that's my question. Like, and th- my thing is, is that a lot of red flags. I feel like if you don't tell somebody, you got first of all, you got to give people a chance to become better or nip stuff in the bud that you feel like are a problem. Because if I'm noticing, if I'm noticing one of your red flags is, all right, every day at seven o'clock she stops texting me. That's a, that's a huge red flag right there. That's like one like, okay, what are you doing between seven and 10 or whatever? And, you know, and, and not saying that she's done anything bad, but like if we're, if we're actively working on something and we're building on something right. and you, you're you you're questioning where I'm at or what I'm doing, I'm going to do the same for you. So it's like, you know, you sit there and you're like, well, what, what are you doing? At, but act, but tell, people are like, well, I don't feel like I should ask that. But I'd be like, you didn't have a problem having sex with them, but now all of a sudden you got a problem asking them simple questions. But you trust them enough it's weird, to put man. your peen inside them or let their peen inside you. But now you're gonna not, sit there. Not and only, not on, look, not only just sex, sushi in it, raw dog in it, bro. <laughs> they don't know bro. what they what they don't know what each other got. And I'm saying like you gotta you gotta draw the line somewhere, bro. <laughs> like you can't. Like you can't sit there and be like, oh, like I can't ask her what she's doing after seven, but you smashed three times more already, my guy. You you are you better know because if she, <laughs> it, you know whatever she knowing might affect you at this point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go to the doctor. <laughs> no cap. Thanks. But like, and that's my thing too. And I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, you know, when we, we had this conversation about marriage, and we can do this back and forth all day. This conversation really went left. But it's good. It's always good. It's always good. Uh, but now, you know, when you, at the end of the day, like, I was, I was like, what's our main topic? I was like, oh, if my girl proposed to me. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, if this is the person that you want to be with, this is the person that you're rocking with, that you know that you that, that's for you, then I think that it's a responsibility to you to do everything in your power to make sure that it works. But with that being said, if that energy is not reciprocated. If you out doing X, Y, and Z and she's not doing X, Y, and Z, then you need to take a real good look at that. 
And, you know, fellas, if your girl decided to propose to you, then, you know, maybe don't take it so much as an ego trip and just, you know, suck it up and deal with it. But at the end of the day, man, look, hey, look, Lashonda watch the podcast. Don't don't think about it. <laughs> because even though I say yes on this podcast, you just catch me at the wrong time, I might say, just, you don't get the hell out of my face. Just know, <laughs> just know if you're somewhere and you just happen to see me there, too. you like, Derek don't really be here. Just know something's up. I got my camera ready. <laughs> got my camera I mean, ready. I'm at the mall. I'm like, hey, bro, you didn't tell me you was going to the mall to get your ass off that. You know, <laughs> you know why talk- you why you talking? I'm just phone just slowly. <laughs> <laughs> like that, uh, like that, uh, Drewski, uh, Drewski me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, he's making waves. I'm so proud of that nigga, bro. That nigga's hilarious. Stupid. But, uh, yeah, he is yeah. super funny. What do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh, that nigga stupid. But, but yeah, my an- oh, wait, because wait. of Joe, because of Joe, my answer for his specific, since I can't beat around, you know, I, I can't move things around, it would be yes. It would be yes. <sighs> Let me tell you something. I appreciate you and the rest of our brothers ran the four because y'all pushed me to be a better asshole than I was the day before. <laughs> Y'all pushed me to step my game up and I appreciate it. Because you know how I'm coming. I would have I would have easily just threw that question out there and y'all would have threw everything at it. I was like, no, nah, I need to make my air tight. I need to make sure they can't do nothing but use this or this. And yes, sir. Y'all shot, shot, shot. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, with that, that's another conclusion of Unfiltered Arguments. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, please, you know, like we said in the beginning of this video, you know, like, share, subscribe. We need all that. If you got comments, please throw them at the, you know, make sure you comment on it. Make sure you hit one of those up. If you got questions and concerns, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And like I said, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Derek, do that thing that only you can do. Yeah, we definitely appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to our channel to get these bi-weekly, but you're going to get uh, content every Thursday, whether it's the podcast or whether it's uh, the debates, and we mm-hmm. may have something new coming for y'all soon, but make sure y'all follow us on social media, uh, Facebook, on Fit the Brothers, Twitter, on Fit the Bros, Instagram, on Fit the Brothers Podcast, and you can re- listen to our regular podcast on uh, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, uh, Radio Radio Public now, as well as uh, Google Podcasts, as well as uh, something else, something else where you're missing. Pocket Cast is now. So pretty much a lot anywhere that you can listen to podcasts, you can listen to our podcast there. You know, one day we're either going to have to actually clip that, like clip <laughs> you saying that and just include it in every video. Oh, yeah. Or I'll we're going to have to sit there and just be like, we said this so many times, y'all know what to find. They already know what we're doing. <laughs> They already know what we're doing. The only reason we can't do that, hey, now is but we gonna get there. Dude, but we we want to make sure y'all y'all follow us on all these uh, platforms. You know, of course, saying? of course, of course. All right, with that, that concludes another episode of Unfiltered Arguments. Y'all be easy. Y'all be blessed and peace. Bless.